New here at 6, a family is mourning a 15-year-old high school student from Demopolis who died in a horrific wreck Sunday morning. Four others were injured in that crash that happened in a construction zone along Interstate 59 in Tuscaloosa County. WIAT 42 News reporter Tim Reed talked with law enforcement who are urging other motorists to be more cautious because of this tragedy. Sunday's accident is the second fatality since September that's happened here along Interstate 59 in Tuscaloosa County. I have witnessed several accidents, some of them being in construction zones. Robert Burton says he plays it smart when traveling through construction zones on Interstate 59 in Tuscaloosa County. Whenever he sees the sign that says road work ahead, he knows it's time to slow down and drive 45 miles per hour. And I have been a first responder at an accident scene where people were trapped in the vehicle, rolled over in a construction zone. And so I've seen firsthand the injuries that can occur in a construction zone. Sunday morning, 15-year-old Katie Elizabeth Van lost her life after the SUV she was riding in overturned and crashed. Four others in the vehicle were injured. The 15-year-old was a student at Demopolis High School. State Trooper Reginald King says Sunday's accident is a tragic reminder why motorists should be careful when driving through construction zones. You need to lower your speed. You need to be vigilant of the motors around you. Um, just be safe. One motorist tells us extra precaution could save your life. Some vehicles can't stop as quickly as the drivers think they can, and so they need to slow down. State troopers tell me if you're caught speeding through a construction zone, you face paying double the amount for your speeding ticket. In Tuscaloosa County, Tim Reed, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.